Wednesday, I'm super excited to be showing you how to trim clips three ways in PowerDirector 13. So this is the first of a series of how to use PowerDirector 13. So you see me adding in my clips here and I'm just going to drag and drop them onto my timeline. So when you're dragging and dropping, it's super easy. All you have to do is drag your clip down to the timeline and drop it in. You can add a couple different frames. You could do multiple videos on one screen, so you could have four simultaneous videos playing if you wanted to. S possibilities are endless. So now I'm going to show you how to do the single trim. All you're going to do is figure out where you want your clip to start and where you want it to stop. That simple. So now I'm going to show you the multi-trim. Here's the single trim. Now back to the multi-trim. What you can do is you can add in these little marks, which is an end marker and a start marker where you can just choose where you want clips to start and end and it's just going to separate them out for you. So that's pretty cool. I'm going to show you how to do another one here. So just drag over this little slide because it shows you the little individual clips below it. So you can choose where you want it to start and then you're going to hit where you want it to end. And then you hit OK and it just separates out the three segments that you chose for it. Now you could also do this where it auto detects your scenes and then it just segments them out into separate clips for you. This one it only found two different segments. Completely fine to do it this way, but I like to do it by hand because it's a lot easier for me to know where it starts and where it ends. So those are the three ways you can trim a clip in PowerDirector 13. So stay tuned next time for how to do transitions and I'm super excited to show you how to transition and add effects.